Hello Reception, it's Miss Adams here today and it's Friday, our last phonics lesson of the week. And where's Ozzy? Oh, here he is. Oh, Ozzy, what are you holding? Oh, it's a picture of a dog. Ozzy, why are you holding a picture of a dog today? Oh, it's because the dog is in one of our sentences today. Oh, that's exciting, Ozzy. Thank you for bringing that picture to show us of a dog. OK, well, we need to start by singing the alphabet, don't we? So let's find our alphabet for today. Here it is. Get ready to sing at home, everybody. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time won't you sing with me? Fantastic. Lovely singing, everybody. And Ozzy, we'll see you later because we're going to do our flashcard phonics now. At home, I want you to be saying the sounds and doing the actions. Get ready. S Mmm, I, mmm, d, g, o, k, 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 e, a, r, h, b, f, o, o, s, j, V, w, k, s, y, z, qu, sh, ch, f, o, v, m, a, e, i, o, u, u, r, o, u, o, u, o, u, E, U, A, E. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. Now, today we are going to be looking at all of the high frequency words that we have learnt this term. Let's see if we can test our brains and see if we can remember all of those high frequency words. Some of them we can sound out to help us, but some of them. They're a bit tricky. They can be a little bit cheeky and we just have to know them. So we just have to be able to say them because we can't sound out some of our tricky words. Let's have a look. Have a go at home and then we'll say them together. A. A. N. An. Oh, this is one of the tricky ones that we have to know. As. As. At, at. So that was our first four high frequency words. A, an, as, at. Fantastic, everybody. Let's have a look at the week two ones. If, if. Well done. If. N, in, oh, fantastic. Oh, one that we have to know is because that is making a z sound. Is it? It. Oh, let's read them all together. If, in, is, it. Oh, fantastic. Let's have a look at week three ones. Oh, get ready. Ooh, one that we have to know of because that f is making a v sound off of of next one oh off off like we turn a light off well done o -n, on on oh we can turn a light on k a n 
Well done. Let's read them together. Of, off, on, can. Fantastic. Let's have a look at week fours. So if we remember these ones. D, a, d. Dad. Well done. H, a, d. Had. Had. Super. B, a, k. Back. Well done. Back. Oh, this one we really know very well because we see it all the time. And, and, lovely. Let's read them together. Dad had back and. Well done. Let's have a look at the week five ones. G, e, t, get. Well done. B, I, G, big, fantastic, big. H, I, M, him, super. H, I, oh, remember this one, this is making a z sound, his. Lovely, let's read them all together. Get, big, him, his. Fantastic, and then we're up to today's ones. This week's one's week six. N, O, T, not. Well done. Let's sound this one out. G, O, T, got. Well done. A, P, up. And our last one. M, A, M, mum. Well done, let's read them together. Not, got, up, mum. Well done, everybody. You have just read all of our high frequency words for our first bit of the spring term. That's amazing. Those are all of the words that we've learned since the Christmas holidays. Fantastic. Right, we are going to play our sentence substitution game now. Remember, we have a sentence and then we change it. And that's why Ozzy had that little picture of a dog. I think there must be a dog in one of our sentences. Shall we find out? Let's have a look. Okay, our first sentence today is this one. Have a go at reading that at home and then we'll read it together. Okay, lovely. G -e -t. Get. Oh, look, here's one of our high frequency words. Off. Off. Another one, the, b, a, s, bus. Ooh, get off the bus. Ooh, get off the bus. And we've got our full stop at the end. Let's see which four words we're going to get so that we can change our sentence. Ooh, b, o, t, boat. On, on, t, a, n, turn, and our last word is t, r, a, n, train. Okay, so our sentence is get off the bus. And then we've got four words, boat, on, turn, and train. The first word that we're going to think about is boat, this word, boat. Where could boat go in our sentence to change it? Have a little think at home. Where could boat go in our sentence? Let's find out. Ready? Ooh. Get off the boat. <gasps> Get off the boat. So instead of bus, we're getting off the boat. Let's see if there's a picture to go with that sentence. Oh, look, it's like our pirate week. And that pirate is telling that man to walk the plank. And he's telling him to get off the boat. Get off the boat. Well done. Let's go back to our normal sentence. Remember, our normal sentence is get off the bus. And this time, 
we're thinking about this word, on, on. Where could on go in our sentence? On, have a think, where could on go in our sentence? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, there we go. Get on the bus. So instead of getting off the bus, we're going to get on the bus. And look, there are some children getting on a bus. Get on the bus. Wow. Let's have a look which word we're going to use this time. So our normal sentence again, get off the bus. And this time we're thinking about this word. This word, remember, is turn. Turn. Where could turn go in our sentence? Have a think. Where could turn go in our sentence? If you need to pause the video to think for a bit longer, you can. Where could turn go in our sentence? Let's have a look. Oh, it's at the beginning of our sentence. Look. Turn off the bus. Oh, no, look, the bus has gone to sleep. <laughs> That's a bit funny, isn't it? Turn off the bus and now the bus is going to sleep. We're going to change our sentence once more. So remember, it's gone back to normal. Get off the bus. And this time we're thinking about the word train. Where could train go in our sentence? Have a think, everybody. Where could train go in our sentence? Let's have a look. Get off the train. <gasps> look, we've changed the ending of our sentence. Before it said bus and now it says train. Get off the train. And there's a boy and his daddy getting off the train. Well done, everybody. You've changed that sentence four times. We've got one more sentence to change now. Let's have a look. Maybe this is the one where that dog that Ozzy had comes in. Let's see. Oh, let's read it. Have a go at reading it at home first and then we'll read it together. Okay. Pause the video if you need a bit longer. Well done. Let's start. The D -o -g, dog, well done, H -a -d, had a B -i -g, big B -e -d, bed. The dog had a big bed. Oh, the dog had a big bed. So maybe this dog that Ozzy had has a big bed. Hmm, the dog had a big bed. Bed. Let's see which four words we're going to have to choose our, to change our sentence. Let's see. Ooh, red. Red. Oh, the colour red. K at cat. N e d s needs. T a l tail. So we've got four words that we can use to change our sentence. We've got red, cat, needs and tail. Oh, the first word that we're going to use is this word, red, the colour red. Where could red go in our sentence? So remember our sentence is, the dog had a big bed. Where could red go in our sentence? Have a think. Let's have a look. <gasps> the dog had a red bed. The dog had a red bed. So instead of having a big bed, he had a red bed. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, look at that doggy enjoying its red bed. He looks very cosy. Let's have a look at the next word that we're going to use. Let's make our sentence back to normal. The dog had a big bed. And this time we're thinking about this word, cat. Cat. Where could cat go in our sentence? Cat. Have a think. Where could cat go in our sentence? Let's have a look. 
Ooh, the cat had a big bed. So we've changed it. Last time we had dog and this time we've got cat. You're right, the cat had a big bed. Let's have a look at the picture. Oh, look at that cat. It is sleeping in a big bed. That looks like a human's bed, doesn't it? That cat looks very cosy, just like that dog. Let's have a look at our normal sentence. The dog had a big bed and this time we're thinking about this word. Can you remember what that word is? Have a think. Needs. 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 Where could needs go in our sentence? Have a think. Okay, let's have a look together. The dog needs a big bed. Oh, look, we've changed it. Needs is in the middle of our sentence now. Instead of has, we've got needs. The dog needs a big bed. Hmm. Maybe the dog's bed at the moment is really small. Shall we have a look? Oh no, look at that dog. He's too big for that bed. He needs a big bed. Oh, I hope somebody can find that dog a big bed. Lovely. We're going to change our sentence once more. So it's gone back to normal. The dog had a big bed. And this time we're going to be looking at this word. Can you remember what this word is? T a or tail. Oh, where could tail go in our sentence? Have a think. And let's see. It's at the end of our sentence. The dog had a big tail. Oh, so instead of having a big bed, it's got a big tail now. Shall we see if there is a dog with a big tail? Oh, there is. Wow, look at that dog's long tail. He has got a big tail. I've never seen a dog with such a long tail before. Wow. Thank you, everybody. That's the end of our phonics for today. Shall we see if Ozzy would like to come and say goodbye to you all? Come on then, Ozzy. Are you ready to say bye to everybody? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's still got his picture of his dog. Do you like that dog, Ozzy? Oh, he does. Oh, well, Ozzy, it's Friday. So now it's time for the weekend for the children. So we will see them again after half term because they've got a week now at home with their grown-ups and we'll see them after that week has finished. Shall we say bye then? Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.